Amy recently revealed why she kicked out Domino Kirk. Why do you think Domino Kirk got the boot? Many have thought she was worse at the job, and Amy couldn't wait for a second to get rid of her. Is that so? Looks like Amy has got a story to tell. So without any further ado, let us get started. The postpartum experience of Amy Schumer isn't a secret, but looks like she is opening up about why she fired her Dowla. This wouldn't be an internet sensation if that Dowla was a normal professional. She happens to be Penn Bagley's wife Domino Kirk. Yes, you heard that right. The internet did badmouth her and coming from Amy has shut all their mouths. What happened was back in May 2019, the couple, Chris Fisher and Amy had a child. Guess what? With the help of Domino, the couple named the boy Gene. So, we get how close they all were. But things got nasty when shortly after the birth, she removed Domino. But wheels turned when she shocked us by saying, Domino is like a goddess. She's an actual floating siren around the house. She's so like, just lovely, and when she touches you just kind of melt. And she was really a family member. And I just felt so vulnerable, I was like, I can't have this Botticelli F times times King Goddess floating around my home when I am, like, bleeding out. Amy told all of this to Domino's husband Penn Badgley, on the June 22nd episode. He is the host of the Pod Crushed Stitcher podcast. And to say this came as a shocker would be an understatement. What do you say? Let us know in the comments section below. It is not like Amy was secretive about her suffering with hyperms is gravidarum. To be honest, she was very honest and transparent during the battle. What happens during this hyperms is gravidarum during pregnancy times is that it causes nausea and vomiting. And Amy had it worse. During her second time, she was even hospitalized. This led to her calling her comedy tour during that time. Now that she admits she has been unfair, let's get deep into it, shall we? Kirk actually helped through her pregnancy times. That much we all know. So the couple decided to have a Daolu assisted natural birth. Then you must be wondering why she had gone for a C-section. Well, the hyperms is was taking a toll on her making her more and more sick each day. So there was no choice left for her to go for a C-section. And with her constantly bleeding out, she at that moment felt like she needed to let Domino go. She also said, I just didn't have the strength to allow myself the luxury of having her around our home. I was like you can't come anymore. And this does not end here, she then continued, we were going to work together long after I had Jean, and I kind of suddenly was like, I'm good, and I don't need a postpartum Dala anymore. If you remember, back then, there was so much hype around her six months after giving a baby. But she did say it was all worth it in the end, and that the hype was real. She told us to believe the hype and said with a smile that she was lucky. That is so like her too. What do you say? This wasn't all Amy opened up at the podcast. She also talked about her insecurities which was a shocker, if you'd ask me. Well, it was evident that she felt insecure after she became a new mama. She did admit like Kai said that she was unfair to Domino considering how wonderful she was. But pregnancy dies things to a woman. So when asked about if she always wanted babies and candid about her journey of being a mom, she answered, no, I truly never did. All of my little friends would play the wedding thing like they were a mom, and I was just pretending to be a different character. I wasn't that person and I never even thought about having kids until I met my husband and wanted to have kids with him. So, I mean it's really funny, and now I am like oh no, I don't even want to imagine what it would be like without Jean I oh no, but no I was not someone who wanted kids at all. So it isn't a surprise to hear how much she had to go through. So when asked who was the first person she told about her pregnancy and how she felt when she got to know, she replied, my sister. Well, I told Chris so that I could tell my sister. And you find out you are pregnant, and then there is thunderclap, and you go like what was that and then I felt like I really was not informed. Well, Amy was distressed, and the C-section took a toll on her. But questions are exploding on the interest asking. Why is there a sudden change of heart? What do you think? Comment down below. We would be happy to hear your thoughts on this. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, then consider leaving a like. 
And for the latest breaking news, subscribe to the channel for more updates.